This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. And this is another configuration of the Cater King trailer pit model. This one was done for Texas First Rental. It's got the propane burners, dual burners mounted up in the front. It has a lockable storage bin right behind. We kind of decorated it out for a nice little uh, stove top setup. Of course, it's got the gate on the cabinet for the winch, stack handles, to open and close the stacks. This one was configured on a single axle. We got some signage on the tailgate, spare tire, storage space for eight foot tables. We got some signage over here too. That's a good place to put it on your trailer. That's a good, good size space for good size ice chests. You can lock them up so they don't get stolen from you. Keep honest, people honest. The tailgate opens and closes so you can sweep out your trailer or walk in it. This one's got the insulated firebox, double walled. The insulated firebox raises the temp of the fire so it burns super clean. Got the reverse flow stack on it with the with the little handle open and close. This Cater King's got the dual lids. We've got tuning plates in there. We got the grease wash down below with the ball valve. Now, since this customer didn't buy a grilling pit, they did buy a coal, uh, what we call a lift out coal tray for the cabinet. Uh, they can actually grill in this vertical cabinet with that lift out coal tray. Pulls out and everything and slide it right in. Then you got a couple few rack levels for your vertical cooker. You can put, I mean, the, the fire is going to be far enough away from the meat on some of these levels that you can put, you know, some wood chunks in there too for extra flavoring and, and extra heat to run the right temp that you want. And because it's got the gate that opens and closes, you can close it off and have this uh, completely isolated self-contained cooker and you can have a smoker running at the same time as you're grilling in the cabinet well, that's a pretty good grilling solution for you uh, if you don't want to buy the extra grilling pit on the back but this one uh, you can go with the single axle trailer save some money rather than the tandem axle. If you buy the grilling pit on it with that extra weight, you're going to need the tandem axle. But the tandem axle trailer does uh, drive real nice and smooth down the road. And we buy them in a five foot wide trailer so that you can fit it in your garage. Again, this is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits, and here's another custom Cater King trailer pit model. One thing I didn't mention is we, uh, we lowered the profile of the pit very recently on this one. It's kind of tied into the trailer rails. We got the stove top the same level as the, as the workspace.